It's really nice here at like four in the morning. All the birds are like being crazy. Are you meeting at Rachel's or are you meeting at Sam's? No, we're, um, me and Sam are meeting in Seven Oaks at 9 a.m. Uh, we're gonna drive up to Rachel's, we're gonna stop, quickly like eat some food at Rachel's because it's two hours away. Yeah. And then we're gonna bang it out um, all the way up. Seriously though, stop if you're fucking tired because it's, it's fucked. We're gonna drive up to Scotland. Oh, let's do it another day. Alright, cool. Just like, just literally, if you're feeling tired, just pull over for 10 minutes and do something because it just helps so much, just like breaking it up That's the it. journey just a little bit. How many people have you got between you and Sam? Um, well, we've got with us me, Travis, Max, and Ethan. Meeting up with Sam, and we're just picking up Rachel on the way, and that's it. So we got three people in each car. <laughs> this, one's, this one's so small. Right, well, just crash into me. <laughs> it was quite a quick drive up to Rachel's. It took so long to find where she lived because we had no idea where she lived. She lives in like this little weird part just off the cusp of Northampton. Did you go to the right place? Yeah, I think so. 50... 50... Buckingham Road. Bro. Hello. Hello. Oh, Does Rachel live here? <laughs> no. Okay. The initial plan was that we were going to grab her and then quickly leave right away because we were behind. Hey, hey, are they here? No. <laughs> they said they were meant to be here before us. I remember even putting in the itinerary that I made that we need to be in and out because the drive up to Scotland is long. We found Rachel's car. I've made everyone a lunch and I'd made it all in little little Tupperware boxes ready to go because I thought we were going to be in like a proper rush. Oh, hey. <laughs> there she is. Naturally, because this was like the first sort of checkpoint where we're all just like together in a room or whatever, you know what I mean? Together at a space. We kind of just started fucking about a bit. Pia, 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 no, Pia, no. It was quite chaotic really when we got there. I didn't really know what was happening. I think because we'd been driving for so long, we just needed to let loads of energy out. Oh, oh. Uh, Ethan, look at it. Ethan, look at it. Ethan, look at it. Just come on, just one peek. Sam, just have a look at it. Sam, have a look at it. <laughs> we did faff a lot and that kind of gave me an expectation for the rest of the trip but I kind of realised that we are gonna faff. You're watching this and like all the all the photos are from the beginning it's because okay. Ethan's uh, fucked it. E Ethan, I'm Dude, actually gonna smack you. I think we're out. <laughs> I'm not surprised you've been snapping oh, away! Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate, come on. We need to go. Dick in my pants. Dick in my pants. Travis got his bum out. It's a bit hairy in my dance. Ah, ah, ah. No, boys, we need to go. Come on. I know. You didn't even eat the food in the house. That's what I thought the faff was going to be, just eating the food there. We took the food with us and ate it in the car. Like, Dude. Where is everyone? Come on! Yeah, this break, we're going to get there at fucking one in the morning. Homo erectus were here 3,000 million years ago. But. Yo, reconciling, being in the silence. Homo sapiens came around. I'm and gonna put man. you in the wing. Your mom, do you not say you reckon? Don't talk to him. Don't look at him. Don't even fucking look at him. What did I just say? I just said don't fucking look at him. Do you, do you know what reckon means? Do you, know, reckon do you know what it's short for? I'm the guy. I'm the history guy. I'm gonna tell you about history. I'm gonna tell you about Homo sapiens. However you need to know. Yeah. Is it short for reconcile? Yeah. I don't even know what that means. I don't think it's even short for anything. Yeah. I hope you guys drive safe, okay? On the drive up to Scotland, I was riding in a car with Keelan and Travis. Cheddar flavor. No cheddar flavor. Let's go! Eight hours. Mate, why is it eight so hours? that gave me time to no. get to know Travis and Keelan. Sun's beaming, baby! Sun's beaming! <laughs> I didn't get to talk to anyone else yet because they were all in Sam's car. We were going in convoy for a lot of the time and then we lost Keelan's car. Um, and we didn't know where they were and we just went off by ourselves for about three hours And then we actually along the way we found Keelan We're driving down this road and Keelan just goes Yo, that was the other guy! There they are! They're there, they're there, they're there! Stop! What's happening then? What a reunion! <laughs> what? Did you just see us? We drove past. past and I thought you had a flat because you were looking at the tyres Wow, that's so weird. That's so unlikely, isn't it? That is so random. I, s I thought you were ahead. And yeah, we just went up and had a little break, stretched our legs and ran around and did some filming and some flips and stuff. And it was sort of a perfect little moment. Max, I think.
Max. <laughs> Go. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Go. Oh. Oh. So busy. Red, like red. Alright, I guess you're driving convoy now. Right, it's, it's like Waiting for pairing. I don't know where we were, um, but we just wanted to pull over, get some gas, and chill out. And I remember looking at it when we pulled in and being like, this looks sick, like, it looks like we're in, like, somewhere in America or something. It looked really big, and, like, there was trees behind it. I remember thinking to myself, I'm excited to, like, see loads of different places, because that's what I love about touring, just, like, really just seeing, like, such a diverse range of landscapes and <laughs> buildings, architecture, nature, like, all of that. Bro, you flew over that big man. <laughs> Yeah, boy! Woo! Of course, everything's so heelsy. What's she doing? What's she going on? Oh, she's going on. Look at the rise. Look at George. Ooh, that's good. Are we sleeping out here on that airbed? We all sitting on that one airbed. It was a drive. I don't know what Robbie was doing, whether he was having a shit or he was having like a, a meditation, but he was just like in, he was just sitting on the floor as we like drove down. And he stood up and greeted us, and it was really good to see him again. I hadn't seen him for a while. Wait, what? Are you sleeping out here? We've got two tents. We've got like a kind of. Oh, the tent. Greenhouse, and we've got a tent, and then, yeah. yeah. What should we do? Should we take our bags in? I'm going to wake Johnston up. He's like, let's go, let's wake you up. We saw Johnston pretty soon after we saw Robbie. I haven't seen Johnston in about two years, uh, so it was good to see him again. Breeze. Hey. How's it going? Oh, good. How's it? Doing good. Jeez. And yeah, we went into the house and I don't know if we met his parents. I think we met his parents the next morning, but we sort of stood around and just had a little moment where we just had a little chat as you do. Like we're all friends. So we just had our first little moment together just in a circle and talked. <laughs> I'm so excited. It felt like a really surreal moment because I hadn't seen many of these faces for a long time, let alone all together at the same time. Yeah, we just stood around and made some jokes and then pretty quickly went to bed because we know that we had to wake up early tomorrow to fuck off to the next place. So that morning we woke up, we'd slept outside in some tents, some people slept in the, uh, in the greenhouse. When I got out, one of the first things I saw was a lovely breakfast buffet. Loads of croissants and stuff and like yogurt, tea and coffee and stuff. Um, and then saying, oh yeah, we've got the vegan croissants coming out in a bit. And all of us being like, no, no way. The night before we were in a bit of a lull but everyone was sort of on good form in the morning and had a bit more energy so everyone was chatting and sort of catching up because they hadn't seen each other in a while um, and we just had our first meal together really it was nice it was definitely a moment of everyone getting used to each other's energies again as well that was a very important thing so this is this is the squad is this not oh no we're missing marks That morning was lovely, it was good weather. Some of us went on the trampoline to mess about. Yeah. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> He almost hit that pole. Really? Yeah, you, you were so close to that pole. You ready? We've done one camera in one day and we've got three weeks. Just only take pictures of things that are super important. We're leaving Johnson's Castle, but now we're heading to Tesco. Try another, I want to film it. Wearing a white It took about three hours, I think, to get to John O'Groats from Johnson's house. And this time, all three of us were on the road, so driving in a convoy of three cars. Right here. Love, man, I appreciate it so much. Did you see the girl who was cycling that we overtook? I looked at my rear view mirror. She had such a big smile on her face. I think she'd been cycling like for weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Weeks all in. Wait, there's a fucking spot over there. Is there? Yeah. Incredible nature surrounds us while we're driving, but we get excited over some walls and a playground. Okay. So, I did destroyed. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! When we got to the sign, we had to wait for a few people to take their photos because there was like a few groups of cyclists and stuff who had cycled all the way from Land's End to the top of John and Groats. Yeah. We just looked like a bunch of straggly kids that just turned off at John and Groats. Hey guys at the back, poke your head round. I knew that was pretty much the beginning, like that's where the, the tour started. It definitely felt like the beginning. I think it was the fact that I knew that everyone was sort of getting used to each other and everyone getting used to the fact that we were now on this tour and we were actually making a film. 